my fellow Australians, we and our allies are now at war with Iran. What did you do that for? It's war. I don't believe in it. What you believe in has nothing to do with it. If it wasn't for war, we'd be hiding in trees. It's true. TV, that phone, this house, entire civilization thanks to war. If necessity is the mother of invention, war is the mother of necessity. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, that's good. You should tell that to all the people who'll be dying. Oh, <sighs> Cup of tea? Sure. Oh, 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 and another reason we need war, population control. Mr. Doe? Mr. John Doe? Who are you? My card. Department of Defense. Captain Jamshid, official observer from the Islamic Republic of Iran. Mint? Oh. Please, open your hand. I do not touch men. Thanks. So, what's up? Well, first off, the war with Iran is over, and we prevailed. <laughs> what are you talking about? That war was just declared. Did you give up? Never. The war was a decisive one. But, now it's over. Now we must make the peace. A lasting one. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, but why are you here? Whoa! Sit! Calm down. This is my house. You can't just come barging in here and start telling me what to do. Sit! Oh, I get it. This is a joke, right? Love! Are you in on this? <laughs> Stop with the calling. Your wife is no longer with us. She's good. Mr. Doe, before we proceed, I must say, it has been a privilege to meet you. An honour. Can I? Dear... John Doe. Once we'd established that war was inevitable, the participating countries also realised that we all lacked the finances to wage one. So the Security Council proposed using an algorithm that integrated several mutually agreed parameters to stimulate the war. Now that war, the shortest in history, only one in one thousandth of a second is over. <laughs> this is great. This is really great. Not only that, but there's been no structural damage and no displaced refugees. And best of all, no injuries. Not even one. <laughs> only casualties. So I know it's hard, but I hope you can find it in your heart to believe me when I tell you that your sacrifice will not be in vain. Mr. Doe, it is my solemn duty to inform you that you have been selected as a casualty of war. Selected? How? From the current federal electoral roll. It seemed a little unfair to uh, pick the young. So you have been plucked from your demographic. Non-essential men over 50. I'm not essential. Well, you are now. <laughs> oh, this is great. 
What? You expect me that she's what? She's just gonna kill me? She already has. The mint. Look, I know it's difficult, but we'll try and focus on the positives. I can't feel my legs. With the money we've saved, we've paid off your mortgage. <laughs> Do you think we should help him up? What have you done to me? You, you, you. Think of your wife. She's going on a trip around the whole world. All expenses paid. Whereas you, you get our eternal gratitude. A medal? And a state funeral. I don't want a state funeral! I, I just want my wife! You hear me? I just want to see my... What happened to the lights? What? What, what can't I see? I can't see! What? <laughs> What are you there? Sorry, kids. <laughs>